Well, I'm Sue, and as Chris said, I've been with him for a year because I'm a 60 plus year old accountant who sits most of the day for probably 10 hours a day because I start work about quarter past seven and finish around about quarter to five, five o'clock. I think basically because of COVID, I found that I was getting larger and larger and needed to do something about it. So through other people, I heard about Chris and joined him just over a year ago. I think ever since a child, I have always been conscious that within my family, I was the chubby child, if that's the right word. And I think that stuck with me throughout the whole of my life in the fact that I never felt really confident about myself. And I thought it was really just about time now that at the age that I was, that I put that to one side and actually did something about it. I've tried loads of things. Probably the main ones were the Rosemary Connolly diet, which was like low fat and exercise. I did Weight Watchers, which I personally find as a group and all happy clappy is not for me. <laughs> And then more recently, probably just before COVID, I joined a, an NHS supported group. It was an online group called Second Nature. And I have to say some of their thoughts and processes were actually really quite good. But for me, that whole online group where you were in a massive group, I didn't really feel that anybody really cared about me as an individual. I think the word diet for me has an end and I actually think that if you want to be fit and healthy and stronger there is no end this is your life so you have to find something that fits in with you with your lifestyle and you know again going back to like Weight Watchers that's where counting points doesn't fit with me whereas your plan because you're free to eat what you want to eat what fits in with your lifestyle and so long as you stick to calories and the protein that is applicable to you you will see results. I think I've understood more about what I'm actually eating and the importance of what I'm eating. Previously, I never realised how important protein was. I, I generally think that I used to eat reasonably healthily and I never ate a huge amount. But I think also not eating enough is quite important as well as eating the right things so yes okay you might have i don't know 1300 1500 calories but if you just eat chocolate or cakes that actually isn't any good for you <laughs> I think that the best thing is that it's actually quite simple. So, so long as you stick to water, movement, steps, protein, calories, it works. I think consistency is important that you do the same things roughly every week. And I think the other important thing, I guess it's probably a bit around mindset, but if you have a bad day, start again tomorrow. If it has to be a lifestyle, as I said earlier, there's not an end to it. It is just your whole lifestyle and eating healthily and moving and it doesn't have to be excessive movement because I'm a little bit older I don't do hit step and things like that I do pilates and yoga and walk and do spinning for a bit of cardio so it doesn't have to be strenuous exercise whatever you do has to be achievable and sustainable yeah I mean you've also put some challenges in for us now some of them I can do and some of them I can't and there's no point in forcing yourself to do something that your body can't do you just won't stick with it i'd say first of all just contact you and have a chat which is what i did and you've got lots of options you know for various different plans and things and what people want to do but i'd also say that if you want to do it do it but if you're not going to do it 100 percent and give it 100 percent, then you don't you learn more in a year than i've learned in 50.